you know what before we dig into today's video let's go ahead and tap a couple familiars see if we get any good luck here trash 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 uh trash one more trash well then now that we got that disappointment out of the way let's dig into the video what is good my kings queens and everything in betweens it's surprise surprise i am back on maple story I, I i just can't get away from this game okay don't blame me don't blame me you guys know the kind of grasp it has on your life and and you as an individual as soon as you pick this game up stop acting like i'm, not, I'm the only one now with that being said i actually came back to maple about three weeks before shining star force this most recent one uh which happened in july june end of june we we know when it was it was a huge event obviously and so i only had three weeks to really prepare for it uh which is unfortunate uh just to let you guys know a little bit of insight i haven't played before then since my last maple story upload on the channel which was in may uh, of 2022 so i haven't played in pretty much a year before i actually came back um and with only two three weeks to to prep for the most recent ssf i had a big decision to make and that decision was am i gonna continue playing on my wind archer or do i finally pivot in this game after so many years of maining wind archer and actually main my most favorite class in maple story the demon slayer and as you guys can see on your screens i opted to main the demon slayer and i have no regrets thus far it feels very very liberating no pun intended to actually main the class that uh i've always envied so to say and i don't envy it uh as a class itself like oh i'm so jealous demon slayers have such a good kit no we definitely do have a good kit but i was more so envious of the players who would main this class because they were doing something that i felt like i couldn't i just mained wind archer for so long and felt like it was kind of synonymous with maple story and playing maple story for me so um anytime i thought about playing maple story it would be playing my wind archer uh, because, you know, I have so much time invested in that class. I'm so comfortable playing the class. And to be completely honest with you guys, um, just like how certain boss fights can intimidate us as players, like Will, I know uh, you, the Will boss fight um, intimidates a lot of players at first, myself included, which I could get into, but that's a whole video on its own. Um, I was actually intimidated by playing the Demon Slayer class just because uh, whenever I would hop on mine and play it as a as a bossing mule, um, it just seemed like a lot to take in and absorb compared to the comfortability that I had playing on my Wind Archer and playing on my other bossing mule, which is a hero. And for those of you that have a hero as a bossing mule or main hero, you know that playing that class is is pretty simple to put it. Um, <laughs> Put it plain and simple, pretty much. Uh, so, Demon Slayer's always intimidated me, but I'm very, very happy and excited to say that ever since I joined back in, uh, I think, roughly June, um, I have been playing my Demon Slayer, and again, I have zero regrets for it. Now, when I was last playing Maple Story, what I was pretty much working on was just getting stronger on my Wind Archer and trying to push for 40k stat. He's, he's at just about 39k stat, level 250. Um and yeah i was i was pretty much working towards an h lomian and h lucid solo uh, i could solo normal lucid with no issues obviously i was just trying to get the damage down for phase three of h lucid because despite my wind archer having so much stat and this is a pretty funny thing um and it's a whole nother rant that i could go on how i feel like maple story changed um but desp despite my wind archer almost being 40k stat he's actually it's like he's strong but he's also pretty weak and it's because i didn't go the star forcing route i say the star forcing right route like as an optional thing in maple story but no because i wouldn't grind so frequently um i wouldn't have like a ton of meso like playing the game now i have so much more meso than i ever had in the past and it's because i'm just I'm, I'm really dedicating myself to grinding and getting to 260 because I'm very excited about 6th job, 
which I'll talk a little bit about later on in this video, but I've been grinding more now than ever. And so now I'm, I'm like seeing 10 bill plus in my inventory, uh, all at once. Like I've seen that like two or three times already since coming back, which before like was, I've, I've only ever had 10 bill in my inventory at once, one time ever. And keep in mind that I'm someone who's played this game, whether it's on and off or consistent for uh, a very long time. So, um, so on my wind archer, I didn't actually, I don't have the most star force on that character. I'm 40 K stat with only like one thing at 21 stars. And then, uh, nothing at 20 stars, almost nothing at 19 stars. I only have like two pieces of equips at 19. So like my star force on my wind archer are lacking heavily. Therefore my attack, my raw attack power on that character lacks heavily. Therefore he feels relatively weak compared to my demon slayer because on my demon slayer, I'm actually doing things the quote unquote right way where you just prioritize star force, you save up for those big events, and then you focus on cubing later once your item is kind of completed. Now, because I'm a, a cubaholic and I love seeing stat on my character, it makes me feel better, makes me feel more powerful, makes me enjoy the class more. I am taking a little bit of um, shortcuts. I don't want to get too much into my equips right now, but for example, I did cube my belt. 27% strength is just the first time I've seen more than 18% strength on my belt. And now it's only 16 stars, but I know my superior belt is going to be one of the last items I get to 20, 21 stars. So I'm fine keeping it with three line legendary and just trying to get backups of actual other belts so that I can just transfer over the potential. But even if I had to lose this potential, I'm not too sad about it. I did it during the accessory DMT. Um, so it didn't cost as much as it normally would have, even though the belt was a little bit stubborn, but either way, I'm taking certain shortcuts like that. Um, but I'm really not spending a ton of meso trying to get a good potential on items that I know are not completed, which is pretty much everything. Now, currently I am wearing my uh, meso gear with a little bit of drop. I do have my damage gear in my inventory. Again, I don't want to get too much into that stuff. Um, but speaking of my gear, like if there's anything you guys want to see progression wise or video wise or entertainment wise, um, if there's anything you guys want to see me doing on my Demon Slayer or any type of content you want to see on my Demon Slayer, feel more than free to let me know in the comment section right below that like button. Uh, I have a lot of passion for Maple Story right now. It, it's, it's burning, uh, quite bright as it does. Um, and I'm hoping that this time around playing the game is going to be more of a consistent thing as opposed to being, you know, that seasonal type of return and then quit and then return and then quit. And I think the biggest thing playing a factor in my, uh, hopefully consistent playing this time around is that I'm playing on my Demon Slayer and not just playing my Wind Archer because I feel like I kind of have to, uh, because it's comfortable for me. So I actually feel, again, extremely liberated that I'm not on that class anymore. I feel like I've been freed from the chains of my um, Wind Archer and it feels good. So the only thing that I feel like I've been kind of struggling with in the game um, is trying to adopt to the, you know, hoarding Meso from event to event mentality. It's hard for me to be patient as a player who loves and always has, ever since I started playing back in the day, always has loved seeing, you know, gains consistently. Like, it's hard for me to stay motivated as a player when I'm not seeing many gains for three to six months at a time because I'm hoarding all that Meso for one big event. Now, obviously I know that's the smarter thing, the better thing to do, and I am doing my best to adopt that philosophy, uh, but that's something I've been struggling with and uh, trying to incorporate in my own game plan when playing my Demon Slayer, because um, while it's, it's working out for me so far, it just feels extra harsh when, you know, you don't necessarily get as much as you were expecting to, or as much as the calculators say you were going to get, uh, especially if you saved up for X amount of time for an event. So now luckily for me, I haven't been back for too long, but, um, it, don't be fooled. I did make a decent, I know, I know decent amount of Meso in today's Maple story is like 50 bill plus, like that's like bare minimum decent. Um, which is roughly, you know, kind of how much I've made so far since being back, maybe like 70 bill or so. Um, 
absolutely broke right now, but that's because I'm trying to cube things a little bit here and there from the accessory DMT. Just got everything to legendary and I'm, I cubed everything to make sure I have all my drop gear. I've had my meso gear for, for a minute, so um, yeah, just, just adopting that philosophy is something I've been struggling with personally uh, since coming back to the game. And with that being said, what I've been pretty much working on with my Demon Slayer is hitting level 260 as, as soon as I can. Uh, I'm doing as much uh, training as I can to to hit that 260. I want to be ready for six job, you know, ahead of time. But more so than that, I want to start working on that sack, the, the sacred force uh, or sacred power. I'm not even sure what, what exactly it's called, but I want to start working on that. I have a couple, you know, symbol selector coupons saved up for that. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. And aside from that, the sooner I hit 260, the sooner I can start working on uh, my Legion a little bit more. Uh, right now I'm at 65, 77. When I came back um, like two months ago, I was at 62 or 6300. So this is just from passively leveling up, you know, the Burninator classes that we've got and my Demon Slayer because I made this my my Hyper Burn or Terra Burn or whatever it's called, Super, Super Mega Burn. Um, so yeah, my Demon Slayer was actually level 212, 257 now. So huge gains on the Demon Slayer. It feels really, really good. However, it also kind of feels bad, man. Because my Wind Archer, I spent so much blood, sweat, and tears grinding that character up to 250. And like, I spent so much time meticulously upgrading its gear. Like, on my Wind Archer currently, I have some of the best flame scores you can ever see in maple story like one of my cra pieces is like 180 flame score it's absolutely mind-boggling and i just spent so much time on that character and and playing that class and i remember grinding day in day out and you know just sloshing through the mud to get to my goal of 250 on that character and and be able to do some of these bosses that it's able to do you know kind of mostly h uh lou will um you know in a party setting or at least as a duo and um my demon slayer I, i've been playing it for what two months two months and a half now and it's already feeling like it's surpassing my wind archer that i spent oh so much time on and it's just the pace of the game and um, it's not like i'm putting in way more time than i was then when playing the game it's just that things are just so much faster especially with these huge terra mega burns um because yeah I've, i'm doing bosses on my demon slayer that i've never had the opportunity or that i never really got into doing yet because they were harder back then um and so you know less parties and and more strict rules on who can join and etc etc um pretty good progress uh, a little bit bittersweet because my Demon Slayer, again, feels like he's passing my Wind Archer a little too fast. And I know that's a good thing, but it's also, like, again, a, a feels a feels weird, man, type of situation. So, but yeah, that's pretty much, you know, when I came back, what I was doing before I came back. Uh, you know, me trying to adopt to modern and, you know, proper maple philosophy and, you know, the hoarding of mesos from event to event. The bittersweet nature of my demon slayer almost or if not surpassing my my wind archer in many different aspects um as well as my plans moving forward for my demon slayers now if there's anything again that you guys want to see me document or or showcase on my demon slayer again feel free to let me know what i will be doing um regardless if anybody really cares for it or not just for my own uh, sake is i will be doing a limit testing series on the channel of my demon slayer once i reach 30k stat i know 30k stat is just an arbitrary number but it's still 30k stat it just it just looks clean it sounds clean it's kind of irrelevant to how much stat you have because again my wind archer is near 40k stat but not necessarily the strongest character in maple story right for 40k stat so um when i hit 30k stat on this character i will be tackling every boss uh i believe up until black mage pretty much uh in a solo environment and we're gonna just see how hard uh and how far we can get how hard we can go and how far we can get <laughs> um 
in, in those boss fights and, and really put my Demon Slayer through the paces. But also it's so that I can kind of learn how to play my class even better because there's still a lot of learning I have to do when, when really uh, perfecting this class. And, and this series is going to help me push that to the next uh, level while also showcasing to you guys with live commentary, you know, kind of what my Demon Slayer uh, is like and, and what it's like to even play a Demon Slayer uh, through some of this content. So hopefully you guys can look forward to that. I might call it like a personal liberation type series or a limit testing series. We'll see. But I'm getting close to 30k stats, so that should be coming to the channel uh, relatively soon. So if that's something you're you're at all looking forward to, then be sure to stick around. And then lastly, uh, I've been pretty, pretty, pretty amped for sixth job uh, and the future of my Demon Slayer. So that's why I have this burning passion currently for the game. And hopefully it's one that can last like the good old days. Um, I'm meeting some pretty cool people in game. So, you know, shout outs to to anyone that I'm currently speaking to in MapleStory. Y'all are dope. Uh, probably not watching this, but you know, what up? <laughs> you know who you are. Um, and yeah, so I've been having a good time uh, training, chatting, bossing, progressing, and hopefully there's something you guys would like to see so that I can go ahead and uh, work towards that as well on the channel. Safe to say I'm back. Hopefully it's for a long time. Hopefully it's for a good time and a long time. <laughs> and with that being said, guys, take it easy, get them gains, and keep it locked in right here at Crown Gaming. Bye-bye.